for anybody dealing with low back pain, low back discomfort after having a baby. Here are a couple exercises that I absolutely love for getting that mobility back in your spine and decreasing pain, of course. So first one we're gonna do is you're gonna lay on your belly and you are gonna keep your legs flat and your back flat, all right? So laying here, you're just gonna lay flat. If it's uncomfortable, you're gonna put a pillow underneath your belly. This is exceptionally might be tight for any of our cesarean moms, so putting a pillow there where the incision is is very helpful. So you're gonna start just by laying flat and just breathing here, okay? You can do this at any point in those first two weeks postpartum or beyond, as long as it feels comfortable. We do not want to increase pain, we just wanna create mobility. If this is comforting, you can take that pillow out and just lay flat again, see how it feels. Again, no pain, feels good. Then we can put our forearms up and prop ourselves up on our elbows. You might feel a little bit increased tension in the back of your back here or more of a stretch in the front abdominal region. Again, especially with our cesarean moms, you might feel too much of a pull. If this is too much being up top, you can sink back down halfway or you can put a pillow under your chest and just hang out in that position. Again, we do not want anything over a one out of 10 on discomfort, 10 being take me to the hospital. If this feels pretty good after a while, or you can even run through a couple repetitions of movement to make it feel good, then we're gonna put our hands underneath our shoulders. You're gonna blow out as you come up, keeping the pelvis down on the table. No pain in the front, and you, I don't really want pain in the back. Again, you might feel one out of 10 of discomfort. You can go up and come back down. Touch where the pain is. If this is uncomfortable, you back off. Touch on the discomfort, back off. If yours isn't until you get up here, you can go higher. But I just want you to find the tightness, release from the tightness. Find the tightness, release from the tightness. You can blow out as you go up and come back down. Try not to use your butt. Try not to squeeze your butt as you lift yourself up. This is a great exercise to create more mobility back there and help decrease that pain. Okay, another one you can do is actually lay on your back with your knees bent and you can work on rocking the knees side to side. So notice my pelvis comes up, my knees go off to the edge. This helps me feel really good, create mobility. I get a little bit of stretch in the abdominal tissue if this is uncomfortable, you can start just by doing mini windshield wipers with this one instead of the full range of motion. So keep it nice and gentle as with all movement that we're doing. If you want a little bit extra, you can extend that top leg to get a little bit more of a pull. Just watch out for any walls or windows you might be having in your room like I do. All right, last one, you can get into a cat-cow position we are on all fours. With this one, you can let your belly, let me show you here, you can let your abdomen sink into the table or to the floor. That creates a little bit of a, more of an arch here. But again, avoiding the pain or discomfort region. And then you can round back the opposite direction. So here we're touching on that discomfort, rounding back up. Touching on that discomfort, rounding back up. This one might feel a little bit better than the laying on your belly, and that's okay. Again, we wanna stay in that happy zone. Let me know if you have any questions on those. I'm more than happy to help.